channel. Hey, you know what time it is? No press film. Welcome everyone to another episode of the Beat Down the Segment and channel where two worlds collide. I am your host class. And as always guys, if you guys enjoy our content, you know what you guys can do. You can share, you can like, or you can subscribe to our channel. When you guys subscribe to our channel, you know what you do. You guys are building our empire and allowing us to provide you guys with even much more greater content for you guys to enjoy. And on today's episode, entering the Beat Down Arena since, uh, you know... Hey, we've heard, hey, why not do an episode on couples? So, today I'll be representing and starting things off with the brief origin story of Marvel Comics' own Mr. Fantastic and Mrs. Fantastic, aka Invisible Woman, the Fantastic Four. Origin story time. So, Mr. Fantastic had invented, was a scientist, and he had invented for NASA this really incredible rocket that can actually shoot further than any other places we usually go, like Mars or the moon. We can go further than that to uh, travel to other planets. So it was an impressive uh, rocket being created and invented. But the problem with it was is that the government was about to cut the funding. So Reed wanted to test the rocket to show them, hey, you know, it works. And at the same time, you guys can give us more money this way. So he decided to sneak into the naval base and get into the rocket. And he decided to ask his uh, I guess Beyonce at the time, Sue Storm, his future uh, brother-in-law, Johnny Storm, and his his old buddy that used to pilot for him, uh, Ben, I think it's Ben Grimm, and uh, what do you call it, they sneak into the, uh, into the rocket and they, they take off before the government can stop them from doing anything. And during that process, once they hit the, uh, once they hit the atmosphere out of the Earth's gravitational pull or whatever, uh, eventually they get hit with some kind of radiation storm. This radiation storm starts affecting them in a cosmic level inside their bodies. Eventually they wind up having the rocket crash down on Earth in some little uh, isolated island. And they discover at that moment their powers and abilities. You know, first, uh, you know, Grimm is freaking out because he looks like a rock. And then, you know, uh, Richard tries to calm him down. with, uh, But then he finally realized he can, like, elastic elastic his arms and stuff like that, wrap his arms around him. And then, uh, what do you call it, Johnny starts bursting into flames and then Sue starts uh, turning invisible and that's when they realize, hey, we should join together and become a team for the good. All right, so now let's get into the bath, shall we? Mr. Fantastic was able to dodge attacks from the Soul Gem, okay? And if you don't know what the Soul Gem is, the Soul Gem is from, one. it's one of the Infinity Stones that you've seen in the movie yes one of those stones can actually do some damage and he was able to maneuver around something with that kind of power cosmic level of uh, powers was able to avoid wolverine's claws from stabbing through his skin okay now wolverine's claws are made out of adamantium and those are the toughest form of metals pretty much in the marvel universe so not being able to penetrate the skin is pretty it's pretty crazy able to hold a giant sized wall of himself briefly against now check this roster list the hulk Hercules, the mighty Thor, Wonder Man, She-Hulk, Iron Man, Iron Fist, and more, guys. All right, so we talked about, on that end, Mr. Fantastic, let's talk about Invisible Woman. Her feet. Shield strong enough to take a blast from a Celestio. Defeated Dr. Doom. That's not easy to do. Invisible Woman made the entire planet invisible and, and added on top of that, she created a force field to cover her basis. Uh, took several hits on her force field from Sentry. And Sentry's hits are like, like a real strong atomic force. Shout out to all my content supporters. Not working together, but we like to give credit where credit is due. Ivan the Unstoppable for all the knowledge of comic feats, watch Mojo for Origins and for all the background videos, Comic Historian, Comics Explained, and Key Issues. Go ahead and check them out and tap into the world of comics by supporting other creators. Link to channels will be in the description below. Alright, so let's get into the end game. How Mr. Fantastic and Invisible Woman would be able to defeat Apollo and Midnighter. 
Midnighter. Hopefully I said that right. <clears throat> now, let's talk about uh, Reed Richards, which is uh, Mr. Fantastic. Reed Richards, he's a brilliant scientist. He's created several different types of devices for several different types of things. So I'm going to say that in his little treasure chest of equipment, he probably has something for Apollo. Um, now, if you're not familiar, Apollo doesn't have kryptonite as a weakness because he kind of has a similarity to Superman, but he does have certain weaknesses, which is kind of more realistic, I guess, if you can say, because he has solar energy stored in him. So if you happen to use a device that takes that energy out of his body, he will be weakened in a weakened state. So there's that one option. Reed Richards has probably a device for that. Um, another option is uh, he can, uh, you know how, what is the opposite of heat? super cold temperature so he probably needs to use a device to at a zero temperature degrees to shoot on apollo and be able to take probably the solar flare inside of him down and let it down completely and completely weaken him again which reed richard does have mr fantastic does have that ability another thing is um if you trap or you put apollo in somewhere in darkness nowhere near the sun or somewhere away from the solar flares he will get weakened he can get strong like 30 seconds if he gets even a glimpse of the sun but only if he's trapped in some kind of dark place it's impossible for him to gain strength he starts losing his flight and then he can't rejuvenate and then he gets his butt kicked and taken out in that sort of way so reed richards has a device or something like that he probably has like a bubble that can completely uh trap apollo in darkness come on reed richards has a weapon for everything and if they fought him or fought reed and sue in their own home base it would be no good for midnighter and apollo of course midnighter is a brilliant tactic guy who can see things ahead of time he also has healing factor apollo is like superman but when you go into the turf of reed richards he has all these weapons to counteract even probably weapons that can transfer you to different dimensions so you got to be careful with reed richards when it comes to these sorts of fights now let's talk about sue storm aka visible woman aka miss fantastic she has a force field that can defend against uh, Hulk, Namor, uh, and a Celestial. A Celestial is one of those people that can take, uh, one of those creations that can take on Galactus. So if she's able to manage to uh, protecting herself from Sentry's attacks uh, to hold off for a little while, that does give Mr. Fantastic some wiggle room. Now, you're thinking, okay, well, he's not going to have time to grab a weapon or build a weapon. Well, not necessarily. If Invisible Woman creates the force field, she could create enough time for Reed Richards to create a device because he's fast enough to do it. When he has multitudes of intelligence to react quickly um, under pressure and Sue has the force field to give him enough time to do so. So that way, when the weapon is ready to go and she happens to release the force field, this is the trick. She releases a force field. Force field. I, I don't want her to hold off for too long because she'll drain herself. But if she doesn't hold off for too long and she manages to release the force field and gives Paulo a second to just kind of think he can get towards Ridge Reed, there's a chance that Sue could probably grab on using her invisible field. Like it's like um, an energy construct. It's uh, to grab on to Apollo's leg, hold on to it for a moment and give Reed that opening to shoot Apollo with some kind of energy based uh, drainer that takes out his solar power from his ability and then drain Apollo quickly and then have him down for the count in that sort of way. Another thing is also um, it doesn't allow it allows midnighter not to be able to, to get a clear shot at reed to be able to cause him to stop creating the weapon that could put both him and apollo down a couple other things is that um <clears throat> sue and reed are intelligent very intelligent one of the smartest people alive which means that they know once they come see these threats, they know who is the greater threat and who is not. Midnighter is a great threat, but he is nothing compared to Apollo. So Invisible Woman could either do two of th two things in this situation. She can either create a force field that takes off the oxygen away from Midnighter, knocks him out, or maybe puts him out for good. Or she can use a force field to toss Midnighter out of space using her uh, force field to go that far and toss him out. So that way he's out of the way and it's just Apollo against Reed and Sue. Re uh, Mr. Fantastic and Invisible Woman together are a deadly combination for apollo because two geniuses one being able to create diversion and another one being able to create a weapon or be able to fight back or use defense just comes in place so well for them to be able to overpower him at some point during a fight another thing is is that okay let's see if we put one over the other now if mr fantastic went against 
um, Midnighter, it'd be a challenge because Midnighter can see things ahead of time, so he has a pretty good perception. But Ms. Reed Richards is also pretty damn intelligent. He's not just going to go into a fight thinking he can take on Midnighter mano a mano without some uh, contingency plans in place in order to fight this guy because obviously he doesn't know what he's getting himself into or he might be able to figure out Midnighter's whole game plan and tie him up and maybe knock him out in some sort of way using his own elastic abilities. Um, and Sue, now you might think, well, how is Sue going to be able to take on Apollo? Now her force field is able to take on a, a lot of those punches. So she could be able to create maybe a, a force field to protect herself against Apollo, kind of make him... Uh, kind of focus on her or at some point during a fight she can turn invisible and he wouldn't see it coming so there is that to uh, consider and the last point i'll probably make is yeah, let's say if mr fantastic has to face off with apollo now you might think apollo might have mr fantastic's number but that's not really the case mr fantastic's body is is completely elastic it means it's flexible it means he can slither around he can turn into a flat pancake he can slip into a crack i mean there's not it's not easy for apollo just to simply break um uh, reed richards and if you've seen certain parts in the comics Wolverine tried uh, stabbing Reed with an animantium claws and it didn't go through. So it's not, it's probably safe to say that Apollo trying to rush right in because his, like his whole movie is flying through like uh, objects. It won't be the same with Reed. He could maneuver or sliver around. He can dodge around Apollo's direct hits with the flight ability. So there's that safe ability. On top of that, again, as long as Reed is uh, in distance with weapons or has something he can use to um take on apollo he would have that considering his lab has everything now reason why i'm keeping it in their fair grounds because if mr fantastic and invisible woman were to go against these two solo apollo and midnighter just have a lot more of an opening availability of options compared to mr fantastic invisible woman because mr fantastic is, mr fantastic is impressive but there's not much he's going to be able to do without using some kind of technology weapon against apollo eventually he'll be able to get ripped apart by apollo at some point during a fight uh, or even if it's the other way around invisible woman or even if it's invisible woman and mr fantastic again apollo is just pretty damn strong for both of them to be able to take him without any kind of special scientific equipment weapon to put him down for the count reason i say focusing on that is because midnighter he has incredible abilities but his abilities are just less impressive than apollo's so the last point i'll make like i said is mr fantastic and invisible and woman in order to win this fight they're gonna have to use some kind of trickery maybe create diversions now sue might be the one who has to create the diversion against midnighter and apollo while reed focuses his energy on creating a weapon to put both of them down if he can create a distraction for midnighter or trap him in something or have sue toss midnighter out and just leave apollo solo invisible woman could probably just turn invisible for a brief amount of time to keep apollo on his toes for the time being until reed finally gets that opportunity with the equipment he needs to do it he might even have like an a special um syringe needle with something or a little techno bomb that he can use to put apollo down officially as long as he's got his hands on something to create and as long as sue is keeping the distraction at bay i think these two could at some point team up to put apollo down officially and uh midnight midnighter would be an issue but not too big of an issue and then these two these two would win this fight all right and on this side i'll be representing and talking about the brief origin story of dc comics aka oh well old school wildstorm former wildstorm now dc comics own property of Apollo and Midnighter. Sorry. Oh, an ex storm weather watcher. Um, hope I said that right. Uh, and uh, created these, uh, injected his test subjects with some kind of formula and made them super powerful. And then, uh, you know, he even brainwashed them into when they wear their mask, they don't have another life. They never had a previous life, nothing like that. They are just what they wear in the mask. But yeah, so at some point, this weatherman double crosses his people and they decide to go solo. So Midnighter and his lover, Apollo, uh, decide to go uh, fend crime in underground streets for a little while until eventually they get called back into the big leagues. All right, now let's get into the bath. Let's talk about some of these feats, shall we? He can map out how things can end before it blow, before a blow was even thrown thanks to his supercomputer mind. Counter a speedster. 
able to analyze things in the room mere seconds. Took down the Suicide Squad, and that include Harley Quinn, Deadshot, and Parasite. All right. Flew into the White House at immense, immense speed that when he landed, he destroyed an entire city block just on impact. A giant tentacle alien was covering the moon and Apollo was able to use his heat vision to eliminate the threat in more in, in one day. Uh, destroyed a spaceship the size of a continent. All right, let's get into the end game. How uh, Apollo and Midnighter would defeat Mr. Fantastic and Invisible Woman. So let's start right off the bat. Right, this A team directly goes, who is on the cream of the crop? It's gonna be Apollo. He is the strongest one between the two. Midnighter is impressive. He's got healing abilities. He has a weapons expertise. He's also can see things ahead of time. He's incredible, no doubt about it. He's like a way more over the top version of Batman and the Punisher mixed together. But Apollo is a version of Superman. Um, he can like fly, he can do a whole bunch of things, super strength, super speed. So he has so many powers that it would just, him alone probably could take on Sue and Mr. Fantastic. Of course, he wouldn't be able, they would give him a run for his money, which is why Midnighter is so crucial in this fight because he's gonna be able to stop Mr. Fantastic from any kind of special attack that he might come up with because Midnighter is pretty smart. So he knows that Mr. Fantastic is probably the weapon uh, creator or the we weapon engineer expertise. So he most likely would create a weapon to try to take on Apollo. So Midnighter would probably be able to, in advance, figure out a way to stop Reed from creating the weapon or take the weapon away from Reed before he could actually use it on Apollo because, well, Midnighter is that intelligent and he sees things way more in advance than any ordinary human being so the two kind of complement each other one can help him with strategy and war tactics with his brain and the other one has just so much strength that he could fight for the both of them you know a <laughs> couple other things is that midnight can, midnighter can also um create the distractions because he has the probably the strategical mind to think way ahead how to take on both Sue Storm's powers and Mr. Fantastic's powers since his is elastic and hers is invisibility with force fields and so on and so forth. Midnighter might be able to create enough of diversion for Apollo to get a, a surprise attack during a fight. There is that possibility or let's say hypothetically Midnighter gets taken out in a fight. Let's not forget, Midnighter has an incredible healing factor. So even if, let's say, they hit him pretty hard in the chest or something and they thought, oh, he's done for, he could play possum, come back to life, and then when they don't see it coming and they think they got Apollo's number, they could get a surprise attack from Midnighter, who is smart enough to probably use Reed Richards' equipment, invent his own weapon that could probably, can, can, probably counteract Mr. Fantastic's powers or Sue powers most likely mr fantastic and then it'll be sue left to have to fight apollo and midnighter midnighter will always be that extra set of hands that's going to come in handy he can be the diversion or he could be the one that destroys the weapon that's uh, that sue and mr fantastic might be able to create against apollo but either way apollo will be the one with the muscle enough to throw down with both of them at some point apollo will be able to break through invisible woman's force field so let's say apollo has to fight uh, Sue's force field and it has Mr. Fantastic and Sue inside of it. Now, maybe you think, okay, yeah, it's all about the quick draw. Midnighter is also pretty fast. So if Apollo, if the force field gets put down when Apollo finally breaks through and let's say Reed happens to have a weapon in his possession at that time that could do something. Again, Midnighter is so fast that he might be able to use his like lead pipe or his little special weapon to toss at uh, Mr. Fantastic and snatch that weapon out of his hand, giving Apollo a chance to rush right through, snap Reed's, uh, Reed's neck before he turns elastic and then from there work on Sue since Sue is now exhausted from trying to uh, use the force field to keep them at bay so he could use his one shot and then take her out and then Apollo and Midnighter claim victory on this end. But as always, no press fam, it's not up to me, it's up to you guys. So if you liked either one of my arguments, you know what you can do, you can hashtag Mr. Fantastic and Mrs. Fantastic, I guess we'll go with that, or you can hashtag Midnighter and Apollo. Or you can hashtag Midnighter, hashtag Apollo, hashtag Invisible Woman, and hashtag Mr. Fantastic. Either way, we really appreciate you, no press fam. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Keeping it 400 subs. Peace.